Here's the special case of when the numerator is only one degree higher than the denominator, when the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator plus one. When this happens, we have what's called a slant or, or oblique asymptote. To find it, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator, but let's look at an example to see exactly why we do that. All right, here's our example. We have a cubic over a quadratic we see that the degree of the numerator is 3 and the degree of the denominator is 2. The difference between them is 1, meaning that when we zoom out really, really far, our graph should look like a linear function. And because we have a negative down here, it should have a negative slope. Well, we can graph it and check if that's the case. Here's the graph of our function. Again, because we're looking at end behavior, we want to zoom out. And look what happens. It looks like our function is becoming a negatively sloped straight line and we zoom really far out. That straight line is the slant asymptote. So we could draw a dotted line that runs through here that as your graph goes to the positive or negative infinity it will approach that line but never touch it. There's a way for us to figure out the equation for that line. To do that we use polynomial long division and we divide the numerator by the denominator. We want a negative 2x, negative 2x times negative x squared becomes a positive 2x cubed. Then we multiply through, we get 4x squared minus 16x. We subtract, which changes all of our signs, giving us negative 2x squared minus 2x, and then we bring down the negative 18. We then want to multiply by positive 2. Positive 2 times negative x squared is minus 2x squared. We get minus 4x plus 16. Subtract, which changes all the signs. We're left with positive 2x minus 34. This is our remainder, because there's nothing left that we can multiply the x squared by to get it to be the 2x, or at least no positive exponent x that we can do that with. And that's okay. For slant asymptotes, we want a remainder. It tells us that there is, in fact, a slant asymptote in this function. But what we have up top, this is the equation for your slant asymptote. We have a slant asymptote at y equals negative 2x plus 2. We can graph this on our screen and see if that's really the case. Here's the graph again and we have the equation negative 2x plus 2 in red. That's our slant asymptote. We see that that is in fact where it should be. Brief reca recap, if our numerator is only one degree higher than our denominator, we can find a sla slant asymptote by using polynomial long division and dividing the numerator by the denominator. We will get a remainder, but we discard the remainder and just focus on what we have up top.